All right, so today we are with Cheryl Snap Connor. She's the founder of Snap Connor PR. And in today's episode, do you want to focus on, you know, what it took to start your business and how has being an entrepreneur changed your life? I actually love being an entrepreneur. I was the last person to ever aspire to that opportunity. But things happened that made it more attractive. First off, big corporations were really, really difficult. They were so political, such issues that I decided I was better off to just work on my own, which I truly was, but I learned hard lessons that way. My first hard lesson was that the CFO of the company I'd worked for said, we can't let people figure out they're better off contracting to us, sat on my invoices for three months. So that was a lesson. Thankfully, during that 90-day period, I had one other gig that was an article a month out of Lincoln, Nebraska. That paid my babysitter, at least. So I did get that caught up, but I learned a lesson real early. Don't depend too much on any one big account for your business. Later on in the agency realm, I never aspired to be a CEO, but twice have been through business partnerships where the other partner ultimately wanted to become CEO and be my agent. And that was not an appealing offer. The first time it happened, I went out on my own and it was, it was much better. So I did that. And then another agency, same experience, but we just agreed to go separate ways. And that was the foundation of Snap Connor PR, which is the first business now 10 years old next week. Congrats. Happy yeah, birthday. Oh, happy birthday you gonna celebrate? for that. I don't, we're going to have a party we think, but not at, ironically, the launch date was April 1st, Okay. 2007. Congrats. So uh, what an interesting day to launch a business on, but it's been good fortune, but interesting learning experiences there too, that I got into business because I was really, really good at public relations, mm -hmm. not because of my experience as a leader or a CEO. So that's been a different learning experience and, you okay. know, wish I'd been a faster learner in some ways, but at least we now seem to be having it down. But you've made it. What made you decide to start a PR firm as opposed to you know, maybe another type of business? Was it just that you, you had contracts that just grew and as you fulfill those, the business just continued to grow? The opportunity was there. Once upon a time, my decision was half and half between journalism and PR. So when I w went to Novell, within 90 days of entering Novell, that was the first tech company I worked for, I entered as a writer and within 90 days had been made manager of the PR department, which is something that would probably never happen again I had a minor in English. That was my degree background that took me there. So that was a good experience. It went through four acquisitions and an IPO. Oh, wow. Congrats. But my life was not my own. Mm -hmm. you know, it felt like decades, even though it had only been in actuality a few years. So I thought I need to control my own background. And you could probably relate to this, John. I'm sure that entrepreneurs are the only people who will work 80 hours a week to avoid a 40 hour mm -hmm. work week. So I went home, I got rid of the corporate politics, but had plenty of bosses, every client. So when I went out on my own, Novell was a big deal. So people would get excited. The director of PR for Novell is available. She has her own company. All right, I'm going there. Well, that was a real learning experience because Novell was an industry leader. It was a matter of managing the press that was going to happen with or without us. All of these startup companies in this ecosystem, completely different challenge, getting anyone to notice them or even care. I actually thought I invented press tours Okay. that you can't just go somewhere and say, okay, the press conference is two o'clock, be there, or here's your appointment, go there. We went desk to desk mm -hmm. and visited these reporters and it was effective. And I found out later, I certainly didn't invent it. A lot of people thought of that too. But How did you come up with the idea for that? I realized that I couldn't reliably get the reporters to come mm -hmm. anywhere. We weren't Novell. We just couldn't dictate it in that way. Okay. So getting to the reporters where they were made more sense. Got it. So to summarize, basically what happened was you used to work for a large corporation, Novell, yes. and that you decided that you didn't like the internal politics and you wanted to be able to, to be on your own. And that through several different companies, you now have your own company and you're the CEO and mm -hmm. you've got the flexibility. You may work more hours, but for you, it's more rewarding to you know, be the master of your own ship than to work for someone else. Very much so. And this is actually the fourth agency that I've had, although the first and only that I've been 100% leader and owner of. Okay. Well, congrats. Well, perfect. Well, thank you so much. And we'll have another episode tomorrow. So tune back in then. Thanks, Cheryl. Thank